Hey guys, Eric here with the Savvy Campers. Today we are out camping. I'll show you a little bit of the campsite. And I wanted to show you a couple products by Bolt. And they've really came in handy. And I just wanted to share them with you. So they actually sent me these out um, about last year. So we've actually had some good time on them. So what you do is we all have a key. We all have a set of keys, but now I've been able to eliminate a lot of my keys. So you've got your key in your fob that you can push the button and pull out. And then the cool thing about the bolt box is that it actually programs and learns to your truck key or vehicle key you already have. See that? And these hitch, hitch locks are available in a straight pin or they have a curved pin. And we've had the curved pin before with our old truck, not a bolt product, but a different one. And I wanted to use the bolt, the straight pin, because we've actually had this curve come and do damage to our trailer hitch on the inside there. Um, basically, the curve was wearing this out in a little oblong way. And I don't think that this one will do it because this one seems to be a little thicker around the shaft there. But some of the other ones that we've tried um, didn't seem to fit as well. This one fits pretty good. So I don't think there'd be a problem with that, but just for, you know, safety issues with having that wear out again, like on our old truck, I'd rather just use the straight pin. So that's one of the products. Another product that may come in handy for you is a hitch pin. So basically, as you can see, I'm just using the same key because it learns to whatever key you have. You turn that and then you can pull it off. So these Bolt products are really nice nice and handy. Um, like I said, we've used them for about a year. I really like this cable lock because um, it's a lot more secure than some other ones that we've had. And then it fits in like a surge protector. It fits like in a kayak and a paddle board, um, things like that, that you know a normal cable lock can't fit in. So same thing, use your same vehicle key. Pull it off and we've got this straight pin shaft that does our locking so we can fit this in a lot of tight spaces such as our um, like I said our surge protector things like that eventually I think what I'm going to do is replace these master locks that are pretty cheap and chintzy and I think you could just break that with a small hammer open it up but you know to steal these it's not like it's uh, protecting too much of value but eventually I'm going to replace all of those with these bolt cable locks and then same thing with our lock on top of our um, our Rhino sewer, I guess our um, portable sewer uh, tote. And I will say this thing has came in handy. So if you wanna check these out, we'll have a link down in the description. They are vehicle specific, so you need to choose whether it's like a Ford product, a GM, and I think Chrysler are the three options. And then, like I said, you just use your vehicle key to uh, program it once, and then it's programmed basically for the whole time you have it. The thing, the only downside is that if you sell your truck, then you don't have your key. So you could just make a copy or I believe Bolt will give you a discount on a new set of locks because they can only be programmed one time. Um, so there you have it. That is the Bolt, Bolt set of locks. I like the weather cover. Um, they've really came in handy. Durability wise, we've had them for about a year. They look uh, pretty good still. So we'll see how they fare out for another year. If you are new to RVing, make sure to check out our inspection course because you don't want to miss inspecting an RV for yourself prior to buying because there's a lot of things that you could definitely miss out on, such as, look at this right here. This seal gap is coming apart. This needs to be fixed. This is well worth a discount from any seller. And you could probably knock off maybe a hundred bucks just by uh, looking at seals around the RV. So that's one quick tip on how you can save money if you're buying a new or used RV. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next video.